Hi everybody. Well, there we go. Welcome to which what is probably going to be the last of my updated videos for 2024 about my beginner's guide to Daisy uh, console community server modding for Nitrado servers. Although a lot of this stuff you know, works on PC as well. Because this final video is going to be about how to reset your files when something goes wrong and maybe your server stops working and you're not sure what to do, you've tried validating everything and you can't find where the error is, what do you do to sort yourself out? Now remember, in the description below this video, you'll find a link to this playlist which has all of the videos that I've done. Um, I may well be adding more, we'll have to see, but I wanted to update update the, the real beginner's guide stuff, the stuff that helps people get off the... Um, starting blocks when it comes to owning your own community server get all the basics done and also in this video you'll find a link to the previous video there probably there won't be a link to the next video because there isn't one I don't think in this series if there is it'll be there but I don't I don't think there is but anyway let's get started with how you kind of reset your server files um, to get your server working again if things seem to have gone wrong so head over to Nitrado log in and then you want to go to the web interface for your server and that'll take you to the dashboard and then you want to go to the settings general here and then we just want to scroll down and we're looking for a re this is very very important here reset mission xml to default so if you've been editing the types.xml's and the CFG spawnable types of XMLs, the mission files on your server, and something's gone wrong, like loot has stopped spawning, or zombies have stopped spawning in, or events aren't working, and you've gone through all your files and you've done your backups and all this sort of stuff, and you can't really find, you know, what's wrong, and you're not really sure what's happened. Sometimes you just got to take all the files and just turn them back to the vanilla files to at least then the server starts working. And when you do that, it won't make um, everybody lose all their kit um, that they've got. It won't make bases disappear. Um, loot will start to disappear that's on the ground. But this isn't, we're not reformatting or reinstalling the server. We're just taking those mission files and turning them back to vanilla. But remember, any edits you do will be gone. That's the whole point of kind of doing this. It's not, it's not really the nuclear option because the nuclear option is reinstall. But this is where you can reset stuff. So when you want to do this, you just tick that, save the changes. I'm not going to do it here because my server's okay. And then restart. The server will go through the restart process and all the files will be changed to vanilla, whatever version you're running on. So this, when, at the time we recorded the video, this server is... Uh, Update one is 1.24. Um, in fact, where does it say that? There you go. Version 1.24. It says that there. Um, so there'll be the 1.24 files. But they will be the vanilla files. So bear that in mind. But what this really helps you to do is then once it's gone through the cycle, unclick it and save changes. And then you can then start looking at editing your files again. And the, the biggest, I guess the biggest tips I can give when it comes to modding your, your, your community server, whether that be on for console or PC, is less is more. So make little changes, and little changes can have a big difference to how it affects the gameplay experience for people on the server. And expect mistakes. You will 100% make mistakes. So that's why it's so important to use something like the XML validator, the JSON validator, just to check what you're doing as you're going along. Because, you know, you'll accidentally delete a comma or a bracket and you'll be chasing yourself. You'll have cascading errors where there'll be an error will some will appear to be at the bottom of a file when in fact it's at the top of the file because it's cascading through the particular file like that and these things will happen and sometimes you just have to walk away and just reset the files or reset the file you're working on and just start again from basic principles and work through sometimes when you're trying to achieve something as well you just won't be able to do it the game won't let you do it because remember daisy like any other computer program and any other video game can be buggy and things sometimes just don't work youtube and google and the internet is your friend so if you want to do something 
you know, do a search. Chances are either I'll have done a video tutorial about it or somebody else will have done a video tutorial about it. There's lots more advanced stuff that I haven't covered in this particular new series of 2024 that you, you, you want to be diving into and go through. Just bear in mind, and this includes my con and content as well, when videos are four or five years old, <coughs> bear in mind that some things may well have changed. I try and mark up my videos and say, you know, this is old, it needs updating or something. Um, but especially with Daisy, when you get sort of pre-2016 as well, the game was a very, very different game. It wasn't even out on console then. So some of the things they talk about in those videos don't really work. But hopefully I've kind of replaced most of those with, with my videos. Um, just have a lot of patience and um, enjoy yourself when, when you're doing this. And I kind of said this right at the beginning about when you're thinking about why you should have your own Daisy community server. You should make the version of Daisy that you want to play or if you've got a small group of friends you and your group of friends want to play on because at least then if it is a public community server where you want other people to come and play at least then even if other people don't come because it's very difficult to build up a populated server at least you'll have a version of the game that you enjoy and you'll be able to play it enjoy daisy have your single player adventure pve with your friends or pvp <coughs> however you want to do it and you'll spend your money and it will be it will be okay don't expect to come up with this amazing version of Daisy that is going to attract hundreds, if not thousands, of other people who are going to come to your server and it's going to make it high pop. That's a very rare thing indeed. So just make the Daisy that you want to play, the flavour of Daisy that you like the taste of. Anyway, whew, this has been a hard two days doing all these videos. I hope they're useful. If they are, let me know. Obviously, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.